Hello everyone, today I will be catching some Harvester Ant Queens. In the footage here you can see a lot of queens getting ready to fly. They just started to have their flight and a little while later I will be catching these guys. You can see there's so many of them. There's probably like hundreds. They're like everywhere. It's all those uh, wings ants over there. Honestly it was just fun watching them get ready to fly for a bit. Oh, here's the first queen of the day guys. You can kind of see her walking there. She's making her founding chamber. See a little ant butt over there. I'm gonna try to pick her up now. Boom, there you go. Oh, I missed. Sometimes it uh, takes a little bit. I have to make sure not to crush the queen. And done. Oh. And there you go, now it's done. Right now I am basically just walking on the side of the highway. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. And my camera is pointing down just so that you guys can see what I'm seeing as I'm walking. I don't think you guys want to see the sky the whole time. Ooh, another queen spotted running around right there. You can see that red tiny thing right there. I'm gonna grab it. And boom, another queen. And yes, it's okay to pick that up, just so you're careful. That's another one down, so that's two so far. And now I'm gonna keep going along the highway. Another one! This is my first time catching Harvest Strand Queens out in like a big open area. So it's kind of pretty exciting. You can see like there's a big colony here. That's all I want in the colony. If you uh, remember from earlier, that colony is actually the one from the beginning of the video. But their flights are finished already, so that's why you can see as many ants. You might have noticed that sometimes I just kind of like stop and like take a look at the ground for a little bit. And that's just to make sure that I don't miss any possible queens that might be around because they are tiny still, so they're ants. Just a little bit bigger than the workers, of course. Look at that, guys. The queen right here is literally digging her founding chamber, so we're gonna go ahead and capture her. It's a pretty nice to see them take their chambers out in the open, but the queen is a queen. The rocks make it a little bit difficult, but you know, it's still easy enough to capture the queen in the end. Just gotta block her hole so she doesn't escape. Boom. Oh, there's some sort of chamber here, but sadly I forgot to bring a shovel with me, so oh well. It was not meant to be. And we'll keep on going. There's a lot of uh, door mimic queens that like refuse to fly, they just like flap their wings and don't actually fly, so it's another distraction. It's kind of hard to tell, but like the darker parts are actually like kind of money. Not so money here yet, and I don't want to step in it and make my shoes money. And I've done that before, and it's not fun. So I gotta just step around that. As you see, I can do that. You still got a, some elites still. Those elites, like the males and females, will either have a future flight soon or they'll overwinter until the next spring and hint hint they ended up flying. I noticed that near the colonies there's like a lot of the workers and sometimes they uh, 
distract me, and I think they're queen for a second. Oh, and look, there's a bunch of uh, Dory Mermics, the ones I mentioned earlier. We got a bunch of queens that'll just run around and flap their wings, and they won't actually fly until later. Look at all those Dorys trying to fly. Another one. Just like that, we caught another Harvester Ant Queen. And they can't really climb that well, so that's why I am confident filming. Boom. Look, this nest is like inside the plant. This is my first time filming with the GoPro, so I'll have better footage of colonies in the future when I go out. Don't worry, guys. Look at this everyone, there's one founding right now. We're gonna kidnap it. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I thought I'd show you that, because it's probably not gonna come out for a while. Everyone, right next to that other chamber, there was another chamber. Look at that, guys. Another Harvester Ant Queen in the box. Yeah. If you could not tell, guys, this is truly in the middle of nowhere. Literally just uh, sand, rocks, and plants that are almost dead. Yay. Guys, look at this nice uh, four-story house. You got the garage right there. You have the roof up there. Isn't it nice? It's like a volcano. Literally. Alright, on to more. That was one of the many mounds that I'd show you guys. And those are not harvester ants, as you can tell. There's one of the many tiny ants around here. I'm pretty sure those were like Fidole or something, but I don't remember at the time of recording. Hmm? Oh! <gasps> they found one? Yeah, I wish it. Oh guys, there's another Harvard Serant Queen right there. There's the founding chamber. Oh, the queen's coming out. And... Boom! Queen acquired. After that, I met up with my friend who also caught some Harvard Serant Queens. And after this moment, I turned the recording off so that I could enjoy catching the ants 100% for myself. And in a second, you'll see the results. Alrighty guys, it's the end of the day. And on this time trip, we got 24 Pogo Queens. Look at this, guys. A nice Pogo Queen. Anyways, that's it. Everyone, thank you for watching. And I'm going to keep these guys all up and put them in my incubator. See you next time.